Do I look okay? Am I sounding too harried or something? Okay. Vikram. Oh, I'll admit it. I'm a bit nervous. I'm going to talk about one of the most admired actors in India and arguably the most talented star in the last two decades of Tamil cinema. Vikram. I'd like to start with a shout out to an incredible interview he gave Bharatwaj Ranga. Uh, more than an interview, it was like the most intense backstory to a character ever. You can see where his willpower, his fortitude comes from. And it also tells you how human he is. But enough talk, let's get to it. I love Vikram's work as a voice artist. It's a cosmopolitan voice, not too deep, but it emotes beautifully. I think it truly enriched Prabhudeva's performance in Kadalam. Or uh, Premikuru. Take a listen. Who is your daughter? 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 Wasn't the best of times for him, of course. Uh, he was doing a lot of voice works in many low budget movies in Malayalam and Telugu. Some negative roles too, like this one. <laughs> And then came Setu. I absolutely hated Setu. As a young romantic who believed in happily ever afters, it destroyed my foundations of love. But uh, I also began to worship Vikram after that movie. You know, Al Pacino had this time period in his life from 1971 to about 75, in which he did most of his best movies. The two Godfather movies, the first and second part, Sir Biko and uh, A Dog Day Afternoon, all of them clubbed into those four or five years. For Vikram, that period was 2001 to 2005. He'd done Dil, Dool, Sami, Kasi, Pitamagan, and Anya. Let's not talk about Samurai or uh, Kadal Zaduguru, but this is one blitzkrieg of masala with pure acting. Man. The zenith of this bull run, and in a sense, its end, I think was onion. Everything was just right. Shankar's excesses were just right. The fights were just on the other side of believable. No! And Vikram? was at the peak of his acting prowess. I mean, this scene alone is one for the ages. But by far his best as an actor star is Bala's Pitamagan. Make no mistake, this is a star vehicle and not for Surya. A wordless, purely physical performance like no other. I think the X factor in Vikram's acting is that uh, is how he does everyday things using the mind and body of his character. And then tragedy struck. The movie I, which incidentally is one of the top five grossing movies of all time in Tamil, was also in my opinion the biggest injustice in Vikram's career. A beautiful, nuanced, very very tough performance which was frittered away for a story that did not deserve it in the least. Like an Al Pacino, Vikram is constantly fighting a battle with the heightened expectations of his fans. So even when he makes a perfectly acceptable movie, a perfectly enjoyable one, the fans are going, where's the rest of it? It's unfair, but there you have it. Like Patti and Radhikulla, for instance. The action was top-notch. Vikram looked good. The story chugged along really nicely, but... But you can always look forward to the next one with Vikram. Given his uh, easy intensity and style, he can work magic with Gautam Vasudev Menon's material. Not all of us can act or fight or uh, keep our abs and hair beyond 35, but we certainly could try to live life like he does. 
go all in and get the most out of it.